Query engine is like an interface that allows you to ask questions over your data. So when you load your data and you want to run LLM and you want to query that data, so you use query engine that will help you to query your data and then it will return you answer. We will see how this query engine works in Llama index. First, I'm going to import all the libraries that are needed and I will create one LLM model. Let's import OS from get pass import get pass from hugging face underscore hug import login and then I'm going to create a login token hf underscore token and then get pass to pass my API keys. Let me open my hugging face and get API keys. So I'll click here, go to settings, and then I'll click on this access token. I'll copy it from here and then I will paste it here. So I've saved this hugging face token and now I will do the login. So I will write here login and then token is equal to hf underscore token that I have just created. And then you will get a message like this that login is successful. So you should see this message then only your login will be successful. Now the next step is I am going to load a data set. I will make a variable documents and then I can read one online data set. I will use simple web page reader. So let me import that. I will write here from llama index. from llama underscore index dot readers dot web import simple web page reader and then let me go to its website and read some documents so I will just search llama index Not this one, but I'll go to Google and then type here Llama index and then I'll click here. I'll go to blocks and then I just open anyone, any random block from here. Maybe I'll just open this one and click its or copy its URL and then I'll come back here. I'll call this simple web page reader. Inside this, I will pass the parameter HTML to text is equal to true and then I will call load underscore data. And inside this, I'm going to paste the URL that I've just copied. And this I'm going to paste in list. So I will make a list here. I'll close this list and also close this function. Now let me load this document. So this is a document or this is the online uh, letter that we have seen. I have loaded it here. Next, we will create our LLM model. First, I will import from llama index dot LLMs dot hugging face import hugging face inference API. And now I will create a variable LLM is equal to hugging face inference API. 
inside this i will pass the parameter model name and then i will just copy the model from here mixer model i will copy i'll just click here and then i will paste it here and the next parameter is token this is going to be hf token hf underscore token and then let me print llm here so this is our llm that we are going to use to get answers when we run this query engine now before we run this query engine we need to create indexes and on that index only we can run our query engine let's create summary index here from llama index dot core import summary index and then i will create a variable index and then i will call this summary index and in this i will call the method from documents and in that i will pass our documents here now if i print this index so you see that this is the memory location of the summary index now we are going to create a query engine which is the most essential part of this video so i will make a variable query underscore engine and then i will call this index and on this or from this index i will call as query engine and then i will pass our llm model llm is equal to llm so now we have created our query engine so if i print this query engine it is also nothing but the memory location now using this query engine we will query our data that we have loaded from this website and we will get our response so to get the response and save i will make a variable response and then i will call this query engine and from this we have to call the method query and let's say let's come on this document and we can ask any question here from any question from this uh, website okay let's let's ask this question to our prompt so this is our prompt and i will just modify this this question private engineering copies of private data set so i will make this question like this how to create differentially private synthetic copies of a private data set and let's see what response we get and once we have this response i will print this response variable and here in the output you see what we get here to create differentially private synthetic copies of a private data set you can use the diff private simple data set pack here is an example of how to use it import the necessary libraries and load the private data set and if i go to this original document here so these are the steps that are mentioned here so we have it has also given this synthetic data set here and then here also you see these are the codes given here so from llama index or code dot llama is import labeled simple data set and here also if you see here it is also importing this data set from here so you see we are getting a good response here and you can even ask different question so let me change the question now okay so i will ask it a new question give me an example give me an example 
of symptom to disease. Let us execute our code. Let us execute our code here. And here in the output you see sure here is an example of a symptom to disease entry. Symptoms, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, fever, chills, sore throat, cough, disease, influenza. This entry describes a patient experiencing symptoms of fatigue, headache, headache, muscle pain, fever, chills and etc. And you can change your question and you can see how well your results are. So this is how you can use query engine to query over your data. You have to first load your data then create an LLM model. After that you have to create a summary index and once you have this index on this index you will have to create query engine and once you have created query engine you can start asking your questions and you will get your answers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.